Today, I'm going to show you how to build anything for free using Bolt DIY. Now, this is a completely free tool that you can download. I'll show you exactly how to get it hosted, how to set up, and also how to build anything that you want, including apps, tools, websites, etc., using the power of this AI coder. Along with that, I'll show you how to get a free API that you can plug into the tool so that you can create whatever you want. Let's get straight into it, and I'll show you some of the best stuff that you can build with this. So the first place you want to start is on GitHub. You want to go to the Bolt DIY GitHub, as you can see right here, it's a Bolt DIY. And then what you're going to do from here is make sure that you have Next.js and also Docker installed and running in the background. So you can see I've got Docker right there. These are both free to install and download too. And then from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the terminal and follow these instructions. So for example, if we go to the terminal and we scroll up, I just hosted it literally in two minutes. You just copy and paste the instructions. As you can see, the commands, everything else, which you can grab and you just paste them in order directly into the terminal. Any problems as you go along, screenshot, put it into chat GPT, ask for help. It will guide you through the best way to fix any problems that you have setting this up. So from here, once you've got that set up, then you're going to go to Bolt DIY and it's going to be available at the local host location that terminal gives you. So if we go back to terminal right here, you can see that it's given me a URL. So the local host, and then you can just copy and paste that into your browser, just like I've done to open up Bolt. Now, once you've done that, before you can start coding, you need to plug in your API key. If you just click on the list of APIs available right here, you can choose which one you want. Now, there's many different options and they all have different powers, right? So for example, something like Perplexity's API, that's going to allow you to connect to the internet and build tools that actually connect to stuff in real time. If we go to, for example, Google, you can actually get a free API and you can use the free APIs, including the latest updates from Google and it's a AI coders, including Gemini 2.0 Flash or Gemini Experiment 1206. These are like the most powerful models available from Google right now, and they are completely free. If you want to get free access to those to get the API, just go to AIstudio.com. Then you're going to grab an API key. This is again free to set up and then create an API key. And then from here, you can just start getting set up so that you can create and build whatever you want. So let me show you an example. We'll grab the API key from Google. We're going to go to Gemini 2.0 Flash. We're going to plug in that API key we just got a second ago, paste that in right there, and then we can start building whatever we want. Now, you'll see that this is ChatGPT where you can just insert instructions. So, for example, if we say build me a magical keyboard app, hit enter, so we can start building whatever we want. And basically what you've got is a chat on the left-hand side and then the coding files on the right-hand side. So this is the project that you're building. And then you've got the keyboard ready to go. And that was literally so easy. So for example, we can type with our keyboard on the app that we've just built in seconds. And something that used to take maybe a developer a day or a week or a month can now be automated in one click without any coding expertise or experience, as you can see right here. Pretty wild if you ask me. And you can also change between the APIs as you go along. So if you're like, oh, okay, I want to switch the API. I want to use a different model. I want to test out what the tool looks like building something else with a different API. Then you can just change that on the list right here. Plug in the new API key for whichever model you choose. Really simple stuff. And then also what you can do from here is you can go full screen if you want. So you can open it up in full screen preview. You can also, for example, go to the coding section and then you can download the code, right? Now, if you want to actually host this on GitHub and then link that to hosting it on a website, you can go to push to GitHub, right? So for example, let's say you create a website or a landing page or an exact match domain that you want to host live. You can push this to GitHub. Then you would go over to a hosting site, like for example, Netlify. You can add a new site, import from an existing project and load it up from GitHub, as you can see over here. Really simple stuff. Now you can see, for example, if we go back here and we look through the list, you can see a bunch of websites that we've built, for example, like this one right here. This was built with Bolt previously. Super simple and easy to build. It's a whole website automated with AI, and it just funnels traffic to our free course. As you can see, link in the comments description if you want access to this. So if you have a business and you want to set up a website really quickly, this is probably the most powerful, easiest way to do it, and you can do it all for free. The only thing that's actually going to cost you is hosting. Now, also, what's crazy about this is, for example, if you go onto Google here, and type something like Julian Goldie free course. You can see in the autocomplete, people are searching Julian Goldie free course. So if we click on that, you can actually see that the website I automated with AI in Bolt is actually ranking number two for that keyword. And 
we set this up in what, like a minute of coding, a minute of prompting, really simple and easy to do. So you can build out websites, you can rank them, you can use them to get more customers. You can use those websites to funnel traffic to wherever you make money. Maybe it's products or info products or whatever it is. And it's incredibly powerful and underrated. Now you can also sync these files. So locally you can sync the files to whatever folder you want and you can rename the chat over here. And that is just one single use case. You can see all the stuff that I've built with it recently. That's the other thing to note here is that if you look through the list, you can go through previous chats for the last 30 days. So if you've got other projects you built, for example, like this dad stroke calculator, which is obviously essential to build on an AI tool. That's the first thing I tested. Then you can do that directly inside Bolt as well. So did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? I heard the food was good, but it had no atmosphere, right? Amazing stuff. So you can see here how easy it is to build apps and that sort of thing. Literally, the only prompt we used here was create dad strokes keyboard and it built the app literally in seconds. So we're like, okay, make this yellow. And you can always go back in the chat if you want to fix something. So for example, if you're like, okay, make this bright orange and animate it, plus have a rainbow's background. What Bolt will do is just edit the previous project that you've created, update it. You'll still have the same functionality, but it's updated now with any changes that you ask it to make. And then it will just run the command to host it again. And I'll give you some prompts as well that you can copy and steal from me in a second if you want to test this out. What you can also do as well is if you have like multiple projects running, you can just open up a new tab and have Bolt running in two different tabs so that you can build multiple things at once. But here you can see again, it's done what we've asked it to do. We've got the rainbow colored background. We've got the animations plus the buttons are in bright orange as we asked it for. You might be asking, okay, what can you build or why would you use this? Number one is free. Number two, you can host it locally. Number three, you can use some of the latest APIs, like for example, DeepSeek or Gemini Flash. You can also use Perplexity, which connects to the internet. For example, if you actually use a paid version of Bolt, which is bolt.new, this is a paid version, but you can't customize the APIs, right? So for example, if we say select start a blog with Astro, it will start building it, but you're not going to get an option for what API you use. Additionally, you get more functionality on the free local version of Bolt DIY versus bolt.new. So for example, if we look in the bottom left here, you can upload a link and you can use AI to improve your prompt, but that's pretty much it. Whereas if you go back to bolt.new, as you can see, you've got options including attachments. You can use the voice command. You can export the chat. And again, you can select whichever API you want. Plus this version of Bolt is free. This version is paid, right? You're going to have to pay for tokens eventually if you keep using Bolt. So let's test out some prompts here. I'm going to plug this website prompt directly into Bolt. As you can see, we'll just go back to the main chat and I'm going to start a new project and say, okay, create an affiliate SEO blog about bird watching. My name is Julian Goldie. Here's my Amazon affiliate ID. Made this website about bird watching, build out blog as well, right? And so you can build entire websites using this process. Really simple and easy to do. We've got part of the blog and you can see it's built out a very simple version of the blog. Honestly, you could do a lot better, but it does require some more work. If you want to build out something more complex, then you've got to be willing to spend a bit more time building it out, right? For example, if we actually look at this SEO cost calculator website that I built with multiple different pages and projects, this probably took me about 60 minutes to build, just going back and forth in Bolt, but eventually get the output you want. Let's test out another prompt. So we're going to build out a calculator page right here. And the cool thing about this is as well, once you've got a prompt that works, you can just edit it, customize it, change it however you want. And that's basically a proven formula where you just edit the niche or the topic or the keyword each time you build out a new website. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to build out, some people ask me, okay, can you actually use this to build out apps and then host them directly on the app store. There are people I know that have actually got their apps approved, building them with AI and then uploading directly to the app store. There's a lot more guidelines involved in that, but it's possible to do. Obviously that goes out of the scale, but yeah, it can be done. You can see now that it's building out the website content. So we've got the details of the blog inside the H2s and the paragraph text right here. The other thing that I would say is when you're building out these websites too, like the actual code is really clean because you're building it with AI, not a human. And also because you have minimal plugins installed, right? If you build out something in WordPress, then there's going to be all sorts of messy code in there. It's going to be much slower. The core web vitals are not going to be as good for SEO. Whereas for example, inside Bolt, when you're using this process, you can actually get much cleaner code that runs faster. So what I mean by that, for example, if we take this page right here and we'll plug it into Google page speed insights, just to see, okay, how fast does it run? How well optimized is it? And how does this compare? So you can see this AI created website performs at 
accessibility 76, but best practice in SEO are 100. You just will not get that with a WordPress hosted website, unless you're like paying for some expensive plugins or you're really good at technical SEO, right? So for example, if we take something like cheaperbirds.com that's running ads as well and is hosted inside WordPress, we'll analyze the page speed inside. We'll analyze the page speed insights on that site as well. And you see it actually fails the core web vitals, right? So there's a huge difference in performance in terms of building it directly with Bolt versus building it directly with an AI coder. Now let's test out an example with Claude 3.5 Sonnet as it's one of the best for coding. Again, you can see the benchmarks here are pretty bad. Anyway, let's go back. Now what we're gonna do is test out Anthropic for coding. So I'm gonna plug in the API key right here and I'm gonna say, make the design more beautiful. And that's one of the biggest benefits here is you can leverage different API keys depending on what you need to do and what you wanna build. So for example, Anthropic is one of the best for coding. It is a paid API but it's still pretty cheap, especially with small projects like this. And it's pretty good for just adding the finishing touches to our project. So you can see, for example, we actually got the color scheme right. It still doesn't look amazing, but it looks 10 times better than it previously was. What you can also do is you can take a screenshot of a website, like copy that screenshot, then go back to Bolt, plug it in the chat. As you can see, the screenshot is uploaded right here. And we can say, okay, follow the same design style as this screenshot we'll hit enter and now that's just going to go off and start building something so here's the interesting thing let's say for example you see a really nice design on the internet maybe for an app or a tool or a website you're trying to build out then you can actually take a screenshot plug that into bolt diy and then ask bolt diy to emulate the same style not copy but emulate the same style and customize it to whatever site or industry you're building for right and if we go back to the preview now you have something that's 10 times better. Like how much nicer does this look versus the previous version? And you can see here it's copied the same color scheme, the same style of menu. It's got the links and also it's got like a nice sort of emoji style page right here. So really powerful way to just add the finishing touches to your project is change the API key, switch to Anthropic, and then emulate a design on the internet that you really like the look of. So thanks so much for watching. That is basically how to build anything using Bolt. I've shown you how to build, for example, tools, calculators, apps, websites with multiple examples. Plus I've shown you how you can rank these websites on Google to get more traffic and also how to funnel that traffic to your funnels as well. Additionally, I've shown you how to use free APIs and also how to set this up. And if you want to get all the details plus exactly how to do that, you can check out my free course link in the comments description. And this free SEO course comes with over 200 lessons. It's better than most paid courses out there for SEO. And normally you'd be paying like thousands of dollars to learn this stuff, but I've given it away for free just because I want to help you. So link in the comments description. If you scroll down and then go to the free SEO tool section, you will see a section here called Bolt DIY and you can find all the video notes from today inside there along with tons of prompts. And if you like free AI coders, you'll see loads of different examples of Gemini, Mid-Scene, Bolt, DeepSeek, et cetera, that you can leverage to build whatever projects you want. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in. Link in the comments and description. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan to get you more leads, customers, and sales to your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website plus how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building based on what works for us and our happy clients. So feel free to book then. Appreciate you watching as always, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.